Hello cardboard lovers, it's Cardboard Badger here. I hope you're doing well and today we have for you another financial breakdown video. We're going to be looking at another secret layer from the Spring Super Drop 2024. We currently have about 18 days and 14 hours until this has ended and we are already in the situation where some of these drops, or some of the sets even, have been sold out. We have got foil bundles completely sold, foil uh, everything completely sold, and also we have the Hatsune Miku uh, in English. Uh, all of those have also gone, but there are still things available if you so wish. And the thing that we're going to be looking at today is a selection of goblins. We are looking at Goblin Gram, a five card set um, based on social media, unfortunately. And as per normal, we shall look at the artwork for this new secret layer and the selection of reprints before we see whether or not we can actually buy the functionally identical cards from a previous set in Magic the Gathering's history for a cheaper price to see whether or not we are getting an absolute bargain or we are paying way too much money for a load of fancy reprints. So let's have a look at these new goblins. Starting off with Brash Taunter. For five mana, four and a red, we have a creature goblin. One, one, as you can see from the goblin thumbs up and thumbs down, and it is indestructible. Whenever Brass Taunter is dealt damage, it deals that much damage to target opponent, and for three mana, two and a red, you can tap the Brass Taunter and it will fight target creature. Up next, we have got Goblin Chieftain for three mana, one red, red. We have a creature goblin. It's a 2-2. Two, two. It has haste and other goblin creatures you control. Get plus one, plus one. Hashtag too strong and haste. Hashtag too fast. Oh, can you tell whether or not I like this secret layer? Oh my gosh. Right, let's go on to the next one. <laughs> okay, we can do this. Pull it together. Next, we've got Goblin Ringleader for four mana, three and a red. We have another goblin. I love goblins. And it is a 2-2. Two, two. It also has haste. And when Goblin Ringleader enters the battlefield, reveal the top four cards of your library. Put all goblin cards revealed this way into your hand and the rest into the bottom of your library in any order. Very nice card indeed. And we also have Goblin Welder. Excellent Goblin indeed. For one red mana, we have Goblin Artificer. It's a 1-1, one, one, and you can tap it and choose Target Artifact of Player Controls and a Target Artifact card in that player's graveyard. If both targets are still legal as this ability resolves, that player simultaneously sacrifices the artifact and returns the artifact card to the battlefield. Excellent stuff indeed. And our final goblin we have got. Mog War Marshal for two mana, one and a red. We have a goblin warrior, it's a one one. And it has echo for two mana, one and a red. At the beginning of your upkeep, if this came under your control, since the beginning of your last upkeep, sacrifice it unless you pay its echo cost. And when Mog the War Marshal enters the battlefield or dies, create a 1 1 red goblin creature token. So we have now seen uh, the interesting layout, shall we say, and artwork for these particular goblin reprints. Uh, but the question is can we find these cheaper from a previous set in Magic the Gathering's history? And as per normal, we are going to start off with the regulars, the non foils, with the target price of $29.99. And we are going to begin with Brash Taunter. You can get a copy of this from Murders of Karloff Manor, the Commander copy. And that is currently going for 49 cents. Goblin Chieftain. You can get a Jewel Dex Merfolk versus Goblins copy of this. Uh, that is currently going for $2.88. And and Goblin Ringleader. You can get a copy of this from Corset 2020, which is currently going for 46 cents. Goblin Welder. You can get this from Commander 2014, coming in at $17.41. And finally, we have got Mog War Marshal uh, from Dominaria Remastered. 
And that is currently going for five cents, giving you a grand total for these five goblins of $21.29. Next, we shall repeat the process, now looking at the foil versions with the target of $39.99. And we're going to start off with Brash Taunter. You can get a copy of this from Corset 2021, which is currently going for $3.66. Goblin Chieftain, you can get from Magic 2010, and you can get a copy of this for $7.57. And Goblin Ringleader, you can get this from Corset 2020 at $1.31. Goblin Welder, you can get a copy of this from the Jewel Deck, Elves vs. Inventors, and that is currently going for $15.64. And finally, Mog War Marshal, you can get this from Dominaria Remastered, and that's currently going for $0.18, cents, giving you a grand total of the foil versions in their cheapest form of $28.36. So there we have it, that is the entire financial breakdown for this particular goblin-themed secret layer, Goblin Gram. On a positive note, I do like the cracked glass effect that is on some of the artwork for this particular set. Uh, and I also like the fact that the thumbs are goblin thumbs and nothing else. But apart from that, the actual um, social media style layout and the hashtags and uh, basically everything else about it. Uh, no, I do not like it at all. You could probably tell from my tone earlier on. Um, but what I would like to say is if you are in serious need of the one card that is holding up any form of value in this set, which is the Goblin Welder, I would highly suggest getting an original uh, with way better artwork. Um, because if you take that one away from the regular set, you are only looking at $3.88 of value. And you have a multitude of beautiful artwork throughout Magic the Gathering's history when it comes to goblins. Now, um, is this going to sell out? I imagine not, to be totally honest. I can't, this, you know, I can't see this one being the most popular of them all, but... Please let me know in the comments below if you are going to be purchasing any of these. And also, how are you feeling with the fact that we have already, yet again, have a selection of secret layers that have already sold out. Other than that, all I'd like to say is I hope this has helped you in some way, shape or form to decide whether or not you want to buy these splendid looking goblins. Um, if so, please like, share, subscribe, do all the usual business. It will help out the channel hugely. Thank you in advance. And other than that, all I'd like to say is thanks for watching, people. And we'll see you again soon here on Carnival Badger.